Hello and welcome to this week's news. With today's news, I am Aisha Ali. In East Oromia, East Harargi, areas such as Chalanko Meta District and Fadis District, Boko City, Oromo residents have shown strong resistance and have peacefully protested the increased taxes. Despite state of emergency rules, locals have taken to the streets and have refused to pay these unfair taxes. Also in this same area, Gola Oda District, Citizens are being forced to pay extra taxes. One resident explains that many workers and business owners are forced to pay unaffordable tax prices, which is compelling many to leave their jobs. Similarly, in West Oromia, Kelem Wallaga, residents are also being forced to pay extra taxes. Residents state that since the Oromo protests and state of emergency announcement, the Ethiopian government has immense financial losses and are trying to substitute them by forcing payment of extremely high taxes. Residents believe that everyone in the country should refuse to pay these ridiculous taxes. As is evident, many have protested these unfair outcomes across Oromia. In Chinaxan district, residents are questioning the visitation of President Lama Magarsa president of Oromia region and representative of the Oromo People's Democratic Organization, the Opidio. The president has been touring East Harargue in an effort to bring peace with the neighboring Somali authority attacks against Oromo civilians. Owamen spoke with Janaksan residents and they explained that touring, false promises and building monuments will not silence the truth. Residents asked the president pressing questions such as when will the Somali cross-border attacks stop? When will the Ethiopian military stop harassment? The president was unable to answer nor find solutions to these timely concerns. In Harar city, five Oromo youth have been detained during the commemorations of the Afran Kallo monument. Eyewitness accounts explain the only reason for their detainment is for chanting the rightful owners of this land are the Oromo people. One of the youth who participated explains, while our brothers and sisters are being abused, imprisoned and killed, we need to stand up and show resistance. However, both local and federal government representatives would rather fabricate and provocate than find real solutions. Cholera has continued to become a growing epidemic in many parts of Oromia. This week in southeast Oromia, Raitu district, one person died as a result of cholera and in Gindir district, 15 people have died. Both local and federal governments have not taken the necessary medical interventions to prevent the spreading of cholera. Damaged roads in central Oromia Dandi districts have caused many issues for residents. According to residents, many are struggling as those who use these roads on a daily basis are unable to commute. Residents have approached local authorities with these concerns. However, the authority's response was, this is a development issue and will be addressed by the necessary body. Residents in the capital city, Finfinne, also known as Addis Ababa, are frustrated about the unequal treatment of residents. The Ethiopian government had promised to address housing issues and had residents registered for the affordable housing program in 2012. Those registered had been paying the necessary amounts but were disappointed at the end result. Eyewitness accounts explain that the promised accommodation was not delivered and this has dire effects on participants with low socioeconomic backgrounds. The Afar Special Police have crossed into northern Oromia, Wallo Harbu district and opened fire on unarmed Oromo civilians. The Afar Special Police are an extension of the federal Ethiopian government and have continuously waged attacks on innocent Oromo civilians. The Oromo people have fought back and two Oromo civilians have been killed and four died from the Afar Special Police. Residents explain that these attacks are systematic attacks against the Oromo people. The ongoing border attacks between neighboring ethnic groups and the Oromo are instigated by the Ethiopian government. Many Oromos have lost their lives and their land due to these unnecessary conflicts. The Ethiopian government had promised loans to youth under the age of 30 in East Oromia West Hararge, Mieso district, Asabot city. However, like many promises made by the Ethiopian government, this was also false. One youth explains to Oomen 
that certain criteria were asked of us to receive the loans. Although the criteria was fulfilled, the loans were not given. The youth had raised their concerns with the necessary entities and received no satisfactory response. One of the tourist attraction places in Ethiopia, Lake Abjata, is drying up. This lake is home to many wildlife and residents utilize this lake for food sources. Residents explain the main reason for the drying of this lake is a company called Soda Ash. This lake is located between East Shawa and West Arsi. Thank you for watching. Take care and we hope to see you next time. Thank you.